some of those containment plays where it looked like you had the running back corner the escape? Uh, just like to me, he made a play. Um, they like the play was going one way, and uh, we had a full pursuit, and he just cut it back and out leverage or so. Just got to watch on film, correct it. Just how, how frustrating is this? Two times in a row, IU Michigan at Memorial Stadium goes to overtime. They get both of them. It's frustrating. I mean, you put in all that work throughout the week, the offseason, and in these close games that you want to win, you lose. So it's ne it never feels good, but you can't um, keep your head down. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of more games playing the Big Ten. You guys were able to you guys were able to force three and outs on a pretty regular basis, and then Higdon gets that one where he got free. What happened on that one? <laughs> that like 50-some yarder where he got free? I'm sorry. Uh, Karan Higdon from Michigan, where he got free on that 50, I think it was 50. Oh, yeah, coming this way. Um, I don't know. I, I remember the first half, it was power one way, power, power. And then they hit us with the power fullback coming the other way, and, and they just out leveraged, to get, out leveraged us again. And, yeah, and we didn't have nobody coming over top to make a play. What were you saying to your teammates time and time after again, facing all those important third downs? I was just telling them, uh, it's on us. Um, this is what we wanted. Uh, we wanted the game to be on us, obviously. We didn't step up and make the play, but um, that's what our defense has been working for. So, Coach Allen said uh, you guys have to earn the right to get those calls and some of the calls. What are your thoughts on that, man? Um, I think it's more of a respect thing uh, when he say that. Uh, of course, if it's a 50-50 and they go uh, Michigan, Michigan way, I really don't know. It's, it's just one of those deals where I don't know. It is what it is. I, I, I really can't answer. That. What was it like in the locker room afterwards? And as a team leader, what do you say to the guys? Um, it was a lot of emotions. You know, um, we just fought uh, 60 minutes plus, and um, then come out victorious. And, and you know, we thought we can win. We were close, and we didn't. So everybody deserved to be um, a little sad or, or whatever, but also motivated because we're right there. What do you mean motivated in what way? We're right there. Took them overtime, didn't win, but we see we're capable. What does it say to you that Coach Allen is taking this loss so hard? I think he had tears in his eyes. Yeah, I mean he's just passionate about this sport, just like we are. Um, he, he felt some calls should have went our way, um, and like I said, the coaches be up here just if not more than us, prepping for the week. So it's just a lot of emotion that goes into this game. What has impressed you the most about Coach Allen during the time that you've been with him? Um, just his consistency. Um, week in, week out, win, lose, or draw. Got the same energy. Um, we prepare the same against any opponent. Uh, and he just won't let us put our dukes down because because we we um, we know week in and week out, the game of football is getting so close like you can't. So, you know, just his consistency. What's going through your head after Michigan scores that first touchdown in overtime in the first play, and you have to go to the sidelines and the, the game, the fate of the game's not really in your hands. What was what, going? I mean, as soon as this happened, I'm like, what happened? Um, I thought we had him in the backfield. Uh, I still don't know what happened. I think he ran into somebody, or we we missed the tackle or something. But it was just one of those deals where you don't know what happened, so you just got to watch film. Thank you.